It's an eyesore for those who stop by Nimitz Beach in Agate. The shoreline is being eaten away and officials are concerned that it could eventually wipe the park off the map. The uh, area is eroding. Uh, the, we need to do some shoreline protection. Agate Mayor Carol Tayama is working with the Department of Public Works, the Army Corps of Engineers, and the Department of Parks and Recreation on the matter. The problem is obvious as you can see the public shower is halfway tilted into the ocean. Picnic tables and benches in the water and the sidewalk chipping away. We need to do something now. Residents are complaining that uh, pretty soon they won't be able to do their walks in the morning or in the evenings because it's eating in to the sidewalks. Parks and Rec's director Pete Calvo says he will have to barricade these hazardous areas. Calvo toured the site Thursday with the Agate Mayor and Senator Monasilva Tyron hoping to get a clearer picture of what needs to be done. He said they even had to shut down a public restroom as there was proof that the erosion was working its way underneath the structure. We don't want to have the public uh, uh, in that predicament where you know they're unknowingly going in to use the restroom and, and perhaps uh, just their weight alone may have shifted the, uh, the building and, and caused a collapse or something to that effect. What's worse, Calvo admits, is that the erosion problem may not just be isolated to the Nimitz Beach area. It may not be... Um, uh, feasible for us to only protect Nimitz Beach. We may have to go all the way down the line and protect all the beaches down the line. Uh, what we don't want to do is drive the uh, problem into another another person's uh, backyard. Now the concerns are similar to the erosion problems over at the Inarahan and Talafofo Bay area and officials are hoping to expedite the process to prevent any more of this land from eroding into the ocean. Parks and Rec's Oversight Chair Senator Tina Maria Barnes says fixing the erosion problem depends on how fast Gov Guam can get the funding. It's important to look and to see if there's some emergency funding that we can receive from some federal grants in, in, in protecting and uh, stopping and protecting that erosion from continuing to come on in. Calvo, meanwhile, says they are waiting for mitigation recommendations from the Army Corps of Engineers before they can begin any effort to stop the erosion. He does plan on planting more trees as a temporary fix. In the meantime, he cautions residents who use the park. When they use the beach, they've got to be mindful of the fact that uh, that uh, erosion of the shoreline also signifies the, the possible tidal movement uh, you know, in the waters itself. And so they've got to be careful. Reporting in Agate for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.